When it comes to making your workspace your own, there's so much power to be found in data attributes. Standard data, custom data and events allow you to make Intercom all about your users. You'll have insights into who your customers are and how they use your product right at your fingertips. Let's look at each in more detail. Standard data attributes are a default set of data that you can see about your users. They're there as soon as you install Intercom and get automatically updated. They include things like a person's full name, their email address, how many times they visited your site or app, the date a teammate last contacted them, and lots more. With this data, you can filter your contacts to find out who signed up in the last week, how many users haven't visited your site or app recently, who the most active users on your site are in the past week, and it doesn't stop there. This data can then be used on its own or combined to target specific users in a series or with a particular message. Custom data attributes are similar, but these are facts that you send us about your users, so they're specific to your site or app. For example, you may want to track someone's job title so you can reach out to teachers as opposed to students. Check who booked a haircut more than three months ago so you can send a reminder. Or see whether someone is close to their plan limits and may need to upgrade soon. To create your own custom data attributes, head to your settings here. Choose whether you want to track data at a company level or at a user level and create a new attribute. Add a name, description and choose the format your data will be in. You'll then want to take the key that's generated and add it to your site's code snippet along with a variable which will provide its value. Bear in mind that if this name is changed in Intercom, you should also update the variable in the code snippet. Now, just like standard data, this can be used to filter your contacts, as rules for outbound messages, and more. But what if you'd like to track actions that happen repeatedly? Well, events record what your customers do and when they do it. So you can track when a subscription payment goes through, or more importantly, when it doesn't. When a customer abandons their cart, or for details on how actively customers are using your features. You can send events to Intercom through our JavaScript API, directly via the REST API, or with our mobile SDKs. More details on the code you'll need to do this can be found under this video. Using data attributes and events, either on their own or combined, make it easy to be there to provide support to your customers when they need it.